This is an area rich in traditions of hockey as well. Southern Ontario, and every once in a while, hockey and harness racing get together. With me, Rod Sealing, who spent some great years with the New York Rangers, 11 in total, now the executive director of racetracks in Canada. Tell me about those old days with the New York Rangers. Well, John, it was a very gratifying time in my life. It was also a time when I got to learn more about harness racing. In fact, really my first introduction to harness racing was during those years. Jill Wilmer and I used to go to Roosevelt Raceway every morning and jog and train a few horses before we went to practice. And uh, at the same time, my family was getting involved in harness racing back here. You come by very honestly, a town uh, not far from here, Elmira, is uh, where you got a little bit of start in harness racing. That's right. We have a track in Elmira. In fact, that's where I retired from a hockey career to manage the racetrack in Elmira, and I left there to take my current position. When you look at this, and you've got $600,000 on the line in a Breeders' Crown race tonight, it seems to me to be just a little bit unbelievable for an area like this. And although it is a very rich harness area, it's an awful lot of money. It's an awful lot of money no matter how you count it, whether you uh, go back to the years when we played or you count it today. <laughs> it's an awful lot of money, but it, I think it speaks well for the industry. It, it's doing something that uh, I think we in harness racing and, and racing in general want to accomplish it. And the very fact that we're on here talking today speaks well the success of it, that we are getting on television, we are making people aware that we are an industry, we are a support, a, a great sport, and that we have something to offer that is interesting and entertaining to people all across the country. Thank you very much, Rod. We're all looking forward to, forward to it tonight. This is the Breeders' Crown.